The mini robots designed to resemble insects have the potential to be the tiniest, lightest and quickest ever created. Greetings to everyone. Today's video focuses on the groundbreaking work of researchers at Washington State University who have successfully created mini robots inspired by insects. These remarkable robots are not only the smallest and lightest ever developed, but also the fastest. Their potential applications are vast, ranging from artificial pollination to search and rescue missions, environmental monitoring, microfabrication, and even robotic assisted surgery. Weighing a mere 8 milligrams, the minibug and its counterpart, the water strider, weighing 55 milligrams, can both achieve a speed of approximately 6 millimeters per second. The actuators used in these robots are not only incredibly tiny, but also the fastest ever developed for micro-robotics, as confirmed by Nestor O. Perez Arancibia, Flaherty Associate Professor in Engineering at WSU School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering. Without further delay, let us dive into our discussion on this remarkable technological achievement. In the future, these tiny robots may find applications in various fields including artificial pollination, search and rescue operations, environmental monitoring, microfabrication and robotic assisted surgery. The findings of their research were presented at the International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems, organized by the IEE Robotics and Automation Society. Weighing only 8 milligrams, the minibug is incredibly lightweight compared to the water strider, which weighs 55 milligrams. Despite their small size, both robots are capable of moving at a speed of approximately 6 millimeters per second. According to Connor Trigstad, the lead author of the study and a PhD student in the School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering, this micro-robot is quite speedy when compared to others of its size. However, it still falls short in comparison to its biological counterparts. For instance, an ant, which weighs around 5 milligrams, can achieve speeds of nearly 1 meter per second. The crucial component of these miniature robots lies within their minuscule actuators, which enable their movement. Trigstad employed an innovative manufacturing method to shrink the actuator to a size smaller than a milligram, setting a new record for the smallest actuator ever created. According to Nestor O. Perez Aranquibia, Flaherty Associate Professor in Engineering at WSU School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering, and the project leader, the actuators developed for micro-robotics are not only the smallest, but also the fastest ever created. Utilizing a substance known as a shape memory alloy, the actuator has the remarkable ability to alter its shape through the application of heat. This unique material is aptly named shape memory due to its capacity to retain and revert back to its original form. In contrast to conventional motors that facilitate robotic movement through the utilization of moving or spinning parts, these alloys operate without any such components. Trigstad praised their exceptional mechanical proficiency, noting that the creation of an incredibly lightweight actuator has revolutionized the possibilities within the field of micro-robotics. Typically, shape memory alloys are not suitable for extensive robotic motion due to their sluggishness. Nevertheless, the WSU robots employ actuators composed of two minuscule shape memory alloy wires measuring just one one thousand of an inch in diameter. By applying a small electrical current, these wires can be swiftly heated and cooled, enabling the robots to rapidly flap their fins or move their feet up to 40 times per second. Remarkably, during initial trials, the actuator demonstrated its impressive strength by effortlessly lifting over 150 times its own weight. In comparison to alternative methods of robot locomotion, the SMA technology stands out for its ability to achieve movement with minimal energy consumption, both in terms of electricity and heat. According to Trigstad, the SMA system can be powered by significantly less sophisticated systems. With a deep passion for fly fishing, Trigstad has spent considerable time observing water striders and now desires to delve deeper into the study of their locomotion. While the WSU water strider robot utilizes a straightforward flapping motion to propel itself, the actual insect employs a far more effective rowing motion with its legs. This distinction is a significant factor in the real water strider's remarkable speed. The scientists aim to replicate a different species of insect and create a robot resembling a water strider, 
capable of traversing both the water's surface and its depths. Additionally, they are exploring the utilization of miniature batteries or catalytic combustion to achieve complete autonomy and eliminate the need for a connected power source in their robots. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.